Cetaceans have lived in our oceans for millions of years. The smallest one, the Hector's dolphin, is about 20 times smaller than the blue whale, the largest living organism on Earth. Its heart is so big that a person could almost stand in it. Cetaceans find their way even in darkest ocean depths. They emit calls and detect obstacles and prey from the reflected echoes. Cetaceans often communicate with each other. They stay in touch by calling to each other when spread out and likely exchange information on the occurrence of prey or predators. Some species can only reproduce because they can communicate over hundreds of kilometers and thus find each other. But underwater noise is increasingly masking the acoustic world of cetaceans. Noise levels in the oceans have doubled every decade for the past 60 years in some areas due to various human activities. Without countermeasures, underwater noise will further increase. Over 90% of world trade is transported by ship. Ship propellers generate intense noise. Cetaceans are exposed to ever-present noise in major shipping routes. Once a ship has passed, another will follow shortly. Chronic noise causes stress which in turn affects the health of cetaceans and may also reduce their breeding success. Whales are acutely threatened during military exercises when warships turn on their sonar. The extremely loud sonar sounds spread for tens to hundreds of miles in all directions and are used to detect submarines. Whales appear to change their diving behavior in panic to escape the noise. This seems to cause divers bends or decompression sickness affecting vital organs which can lead to death. Some fatally injured or dead animals beach on the shore, but many die unnoticed in the open sea and sink. The noise caused by seismic exploration for oil and gas is also loud, pervasive and continuous. During the ship surveys, seismic air guns produce intense pulsed noise every few seconds, often for weeks or months. Air gun pulses are so loud that they can travel through thousands of meters of water and penetrate tens to hundreds of kilometers into the Earth's crust. The echo reverberates from oil and gas deposits all the way back to the measuring devices at the surface. The noise can cause the marine environment to be heavily degraded over large areas, forcing some marine life to abandon their habitat. Thus the livelihood of cetaceans may be destroyed, and so their life. Underwater noise pollution is a serious threat to marine life. Together we can change this situation. We call for a global strategy to reduce underwater noise pollution and ask for marine protected areas where noisy activities are not allowed. Support our worldwide campaign against underwater noise pollution. Become a part of Silent Oceans. Get involved with silentoceans.org. Thank you for advocating for the well-being of ocean life.